Would you like to up your Twitter intel game? Join me, Valerie McGilvery, as I glide through the expansive Twitterverse visiting the brightest and best Twitter tools. We might travel to the far edges of the galaxy and truly never find everything that uses Twitter's OAuth API. The number far exceeded 1 million a long, long time ago. Because the numbers are astronomically high means that for every paid app, there are several more with the same features that are completely free. And since on most days I barely have two gears and a washer to rub together, we'll be covering only free tools. Also, Twitter's updated rules in 2020 require anyone using apps or sites to be logged into their Twitter account. If you don't want to use your personal Twitter, just create one for research. To get started, let's take a look at TweetStats.com, which is pretty simple. It displays metrics and colorful graphics, which is nice if you're going to create a report, and it's not complicated to use. This sneaky tool shows you how many fake followers someone has. Obviously, if you see thousands of followers of an account have only one follower created within the last month or two and possibly from Asian countries, most likely they bought their popularity in bulk. And if you want to show the world, they probably got their followers from Fiverr. Use Twitter audit. Now let's take a look around Spoonbill.io. I've been using Spoonbill to track the bio, name, location, and website changes on a Twitter account. My goal is to find a locale and a new job, so this one is fantastic for that. When you first get into your Spoonbill dash, it looks like you can only track accounts that you personally follow, but that's not so. Just follow the link you see on your screen and replace Skip View with the handle of your target Twitter account and then click Subscribe. Subscribing on Spoonbill is only on Spoonbill, not Twitter. Okay, check this out. Mention Map uses a fluid data visualization graph that's beautiful and mesmerizing to watch in action. This site only measures the most recent 200 tweets, retweets, or hashtags. So if you're using it to track activity between accounts, you'll want to visit often, but seriously, I doubt that's an issue. Currently, the full features of this site are completely free. TweetBeaver solved a lot of Twitter analytics issues for me. Many of the meta searches it provides actually were tasks that were a bit frustrating to do on Twitter and then the info populated from my searches wasn't displayed in a format conducive for OSINT reports. There are 16 tools to obtain intel, including location tags associated with the profile. I always make it a priority to obtain the ID from a username as a first step. But downloading faves, tweets, friends, and followers provides an easy-to-search format. The next stop on our road of stars is TweetBinder. Now this one does have a very limited free access, but this one in particular will give you a historical report with up to a monumental 140,000 historical tweets, which is what I turn to for official reports in the use of litigation. There are a few other applications I want to mention. One is 1milliontweetmap.com. Twitter stopped allowing precise locations in a tweet's metadata. Also, the user has the option to choose other locations as far away as 50 miles from a drop-down list, which makes it willfully inaccurate. My final words are that none of these tools tag the type of platform or device a user tweets from, which is helpful. If someone is tweeting from an iPhone, for instance, your legal team would want to directly address Apple. Do you have a favorite Twitter tool? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, this is Houston signing out.